Yeah, like we've seen a lot of noise in AI these days. Uh, obviously, it's one of the hottest trends out there. Uh, everything from generative AI to you know predictive analysis and lots of different use cases are coming up. Specifically in the renewable space, we see things like predictive maintenance. We see parameterized op optimization, quality control. You know, even doing things like soiling detection and things like that for um, for solar is really important. So I think you can use AI today in a lot of ways that can really optimize performance of your portfolio and also deal with a lot of risk management. Um, as a technology company, and that's really what we are at the basis here, we also use AI a lot internally. So we use um, coding tools that help to generate code. Um, these days, the prices really come down, I would say, in the last six months, and it's become much better. So we're seeing our front-end team particularly develop forms and workflows kind of an 80% way there uh, and getting then the developers can take it to the end. We're also seeing massive improvements in quality uh, from generating uh, automated testing to pull request management and a lot of um, really efficiency gains from our developers. I, I really think without leveraging AI, we could not be as efficient as we are today. And I can't really see how any tech company these days would not be using AI. Uh, and I've been encouraging my team to really investigate and research and test and use some of the AI programs out there, because otherwise we'll just be left behind. Um, I look at a lot of the use cases in the renewable space, and we've looked at things like contract management. We looked at legal cases. We've looked at um, a number of other things for um, anomaly detection and things like that. And, and they're there, they're available but they're generally very expensive because they're a lot more bespoke at this point. So it's not just out of the box, this is gonna work for you um, no matter what. Um, there has to be really good data processes on your team. There has to be really well understood and, and really smart people in your organization to be able to implement them well. If you don't implement AI to really improve your processes, you will be left behind. Um, we're able to implement at a much higher rate of efficiency with that we're getting our solutions out to our clients much quicker and i think from you know the tech space in general we're going through a massive change in the next i would say two years 18 months to two years where the world of coding and the world of tech development is going to massively change so if you don't start now you will be left behind as with any new technology we had a lot of people that were really excited about it and want to try every tool out there and we have a lot of people that are honestly resistive because they're a little bit scared of it. They're a little bit, they, they don't know if they're going to have a job after it. Um, and I think it's really important to um, inspire people to think differently and think differently about the success of the company and the success of their own careers and really make sure that they're finding opportunities to succeed. Uh, and that comes down to allowing a little bit of time for experimentation, really jumping on the things that show a good return on the investment and and really pushing forward. But I think we have to lead our teams to, you know, really flourish in these environments. Like AI, I think would be the biggest change since, you know, the production line um, and robots then coming to the production line. So AI is going to be massive change to the tech group and really to every industry out there. I think in the technology field, it will allow the creation of ideas much quicker. Um, I don't really buy into a lot of the doom and gloom of, you know, AI going to change the world in a negative way. I think it will add a lot to the world. Um, I think that it will make our jobs much more interesting. Um, we can think of a lot of the minutia that we don't want to do on a regular basis, and we can have an AI do that. Um, it's certainly going to change the employment landscape and the investment landscape over the next 10 years. Um, but I think costs will come down. I think ideas, you know, and execution will be the key to success. Um, when I was in school many, many years ago, uh, I had the opportunity to work with the grandfather of uh, AI and see the beginnings of it. And that's, you know, back in the day when you were coding the, the basis of, you know, these learning models. Uh, and now we just have these things working out of the box, which is 
pretty amazing evolution in just 20 some odd years. Um, so excellent to see it coming to life. And, you know, I'm definitely looking at for ways to leverage it uh, as we move forward.